Hi, I'm Dr. Ji Ping Wang, work at uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'm a surgical oncologist. Today, I would like to discuss about robotic surgery. When I discuss with the patient about the robotic surgery, quite often the patient asks me, if the robot is doing the surgery, what are you doing at the same time? That's a very good question. Obviously, it is misconception. It is not a robot who is doing the surgery. It's actually the same surgeon who is otherwise doing the open surgery using the robot as a platform to do the same surgery. It had three components. The first component is patient card. The patient card has four arms. One of the arms carried the camera, which you use served as a doctor's eyes. And then the other three arms carry three wristed instruments. Those instruments will be placed into the patient's abdominal cavity and then will be used to carry out the surgery. The second part is vision card. Vision card not only has visual display and also it carry the power supply and the gas supply. The third part is surgeon's console. The surgeon's console is where the surgeon sit and look through the console to control the patient card. It has two arms control and also have a foot pedals. This cartoon showed in the real life situation, surgeon first scrubbing the case after the patient is put into sleep. And then the surgeon will put the instrument into patient's body cavity under laparoscopic vision. Once the robot is docked, the surgeon unscrubbed and then will sit at the surgeon's console, which is about 10 to 15 feet away from the operation table, and then will perform the surgery on the surgeon's console through the control of the arms from the patient cart. After finishing the surgery, the surgeon will come back to the OR table to take the specimen out and then close the skin incisions. So the take home message is that robotic surgery is a robot assisted surgery. It's the very same surgeon who otherwise performed open surgery using the robotic platform.